Hey, good morning, guys. Um, first, let me say happy Mother's Day. Whether you have a human baby or a fur baby, <laughs> hope you have a great day. Um, if you are new to me, welcome. Um, this class doesn't require any equipment. And I'm trying to do that because I know a lot of people don't have access to equipment now. I know some of you have said you've even tried to order and a lot of places are out of stock. So if you happen to have props that you want to incorporate at any point, please do. Um, if you have a block or if you use any prop for a supportive purpose, like maybe sometimes you put a pillow under your head when we go into the mat work, grab it, use it. Um, if you have anything you like to use for stretching, maybe a yoga strap, a band, a belt, a towel, grab that. Um, you don't need shoes. If you feel more comfortable wearing sneakers just for some lateral support in your ankles or for any other reason, arch support, great. If not, don't worry about it. Um, hi, everybody. It's good to see you in the comments. So we're going to get started. Just a reminder, again, if you're new, um, we're going to do uh, about 15 minutes of standing work just to warm up and then we'll get onto the mat and get into the core work. So make sure you have a little room to move side to side and let's get started. So if you want to pop on your favorite music today, um, I haven't been using music because it interrupts um, the vocal, and I know some of you expressed in the first class that you couldn't hear me so well. So you can put on your own playlist, listen to whatever you like, that's fine, or no music at all. So come with your feet hip width apart and just relax your shoulders down. Just take a second to stand up tall. Feel where you're at today. Feel where you might want to fall. Where is your center? Is it off to one side? Are you sitting back in your heels? Do you notice maybe you're wanting to fall forward? So maybe just move yourself around a little bit and see where your center is. And once you find that, just feel yourself grounded there for a moment. You can close your eyes. Feel your spine is lifting toward the ceiling. Feel your shoulders relaxing away from your ears. Take a big inhale, pull your shoulders up. Exhale, let them release. So now as we go into this part, you can just let your knees be a little soft, right? A little spongy, as one of my clients used to say. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Good. And now just roll your shoulders around. I don't know why I just panicked. I want to make sure I put the sound on. Yes, I did. Had one of those moments where I went, oh my God, what if they can't hear me? <laughs> and just roll your shoulders the other way. Go ahead, take two more of those. And just release your shoulders down. Keep everything quiet and just turn your head right and left. So just feel your neck twist, stretching your cervical spine, trying to keep everything else quiet. And now just turn that into a roll. Drop your chin and just roll your head side to side. Let your head feel heavy. Good, take two more on each side. Bring your head back to center. Go ahead, grab your hips. So now you might want to bend your knees just a little more deeply. We're going to do our pelvic isolation. So we're going to go ahead, tilt the pelvis back, and it's like you're tucking under, pulling the pubic bone forward, hips go back. And then as the hips go front, you push your tailbone back. So you're tucking under, and then arching. So tuck under. So just keep going in opposition. Take two more. Good, one more time. Now let's just go side to side. So feeling a similar stretch connected to your pelvis, but just down now the side of your leg. Take four more. Four, three, two, one. Okay, drop your arms. We're gonna make some big arm circles. So reach your arms up and around. So depending on your body, you might not have this much range in your shoulders. Your circles might be out here today, which is fine. So at any point during class, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Do a version that you feel better about. Listen to your body. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Good. 
Good, reverse, go the other way. Up and back. Up and back. Let's take four more. Four, three, two, one. Now go ahead and bring your hands to your thighs. Fingertips face in. Take an inhale. Look up, arch your back, stick your tail up. And then exhale, round, drop your head. And then inhale, look up, drop your shoulders, tailbone lifts. And then exhale. Two more. Inhale up, push the legs away. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, look up, arch. Exhale, round. Now come back to center. We're going to take that into a twist. So drop your left shoulder, look over your right. And then twist the other way. So just keep switching sides, feeling that stretch in the side of your waist. One more each side. Twist right. Twist left. And then go ahead, drop your head, let everything hang. Knees are a little bent here, just going to take a little pressure off your lower back and the back of your legs. Take a few breaths right here. Let each exhale release your spine a little closer to the floor. If your fingertips aren't to the floor, that's okay. Let them continue to get a little closer each time. Take one more breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Now start drawing your belly in. And come up. All right. Okay. We're going to start moving now. So we're going to start with a nice, easy kind of switch transfer of weight. So you notice I'm just bending in the center and pushing the weight to one side and then the other, right? Nice and easy. So get that going. And we're going to add some arms. Reach, reach, reach. Good. So it's the same arm and leg. I want you to feel that stretch down the side of your body each time. Reach, reach. So again, if this doesn't feel so good, you can keep the arms lower. This is fine too. Up. But if you can make it bigger, I want you to really reach it up. Try to touch the ceiling each time. Reach. Reach. Good. We're going to go eight more. For eight, seven, six, five. You got it. Four, three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to come to center. So heels are at least wide as your shoulders. If you can get them a little wider, great. Toes are slightly turned out. Pelvis now is in neutral. Tailbone down, shoulders wide, knees right over your toes. Have a look. Adjust the angle of your feet if you need to. We're going to stretch those arms out to the side and really feel your shoulder blades slide down your back right here. Belly is drawn in. Ribs are pulling in. All right. So we're going to take that same stretch, but now we're going to come to a deep bend in the middle. So we're going to reach up and over to the right, and then bend. Reach up, bend. Up, good. Up, good. Let's take two more. Good, now let's switch sides. Up to the left. Yes, stretch it. So my leg strains and bends. Stretch, good. Take two more. Nice, let's go back over to the right. For four, three, you got it. Two, one, up to the left. Four, four, three, two, one, over to the right for two. Good, left for two. Now we're gonna alternate, here we go. Right, bend, left. Each time, get that nice deep bend in the center. Good, four, 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 three, for two, one, hold right here. Belly is drawn in. I want you to take some arm circles. We're gonna turn the palms face up. We're gonna circle those arms right here. Good, for four, three, two, reverse. Yes, keep the shoulders wide, belly pulled in. For four, three, two, one, hold right here. So now we're gonna stay in our bend, do the same arm. So we're going to stretch it up, back, up. So we're not straightening the legs now. We're staying in that deep bend. Up. 
Two more. Stretch it. Stretch it over to the left. Reach it up. Up. Keep the other arm strong. Up. Good. Two more. Reach. Now back to the right. Four. For four. Three. Can go a little deeper. Two. One. Up to the left. For four. Four. Three. You got it. Two. Good. We're going to go for two. Here we go. Up. Stretch. Up. Left. Up. Yes. Single cows. Up. Up. Good. Now, if you want, you can make those arms a little bigger. Stretch. Stretch. So dropping that opposite, opposite arm behind you. Stretch. Good. We're going to go for four. Three. Two. One. Pull it up. A little rest. And down. Inhale up. So we're going to put those three moves together now, back to back, without stopping. Eight counts of each, right? So we're going to start with that step touch. We're going to go into the reach bend, and then we're going to hold the bend, just the arms. Eight. I will try to count correctly for you. No promises. <laughs> we're going to start over to the right. Here we go. We're going to stretch up, 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 up. Good. Four, three, two, transitioning. Up, bend, up, bend. Yes. Go deeper if you can. You've got four more. Four, three, two. Hold the bed right here. Stretch, stretch. Yes. Good, guys. If you want, arm drops. Four, three, four, two, one. Pull it up. Good. A little intermission here. One more time. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from that wide position. We're gonna go into a squat. So right here, we're just gonna bend and lift. Just pushing the weight back. This is just your active rest, that's all. We're gonna take four more for four, for three, you got it. Two more, the last one. All right, guys, awesome. Come back to that wide position. So we're just gonna change it a little bit now. So we're gonna bend it down. We're gonna open those arms wide. So rather than a side bend, we're gonna take a twist. So we're gonna pull the arm across, open it up. Pull, open up, good. Pull, open up. So as you do this, I want you to feel your shoulder blades pull apart and then squeeze together. Pull apart, squeeze together, two more, pull apart, Squeeze, one more time, pull apart. Let's go the other way. Arms together. So that left arm is staying in a stationary position. You're just moving that right arm across, feeling those shoulder blades open and squeeze. Two more, open and squeeze, one more time. Open, good, back to the right for four, for three, good, two, one, over to the left, four, for three, for two, you got it. One, single counts, over. Yes. So you're keeping those legs still. Trying just to move waist and above. Four, three, two, one. Hold right here. Back to those arm circles. Up, up. Drop a little lower if you can. Four, three, two. Reverse it, go for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up and bend. One more time. Bring it up. Okay, here's the combo. We're going to pull the arm across and drop that left knee. So notice my right leg stays right where it is, just moving the left leg. So same arm, drop that knee, open up. Drop the knee, open up. Good. Drop it. Open. Drop it. Two more. Pivot. Yes. Pivot. We're going to switch sides. Now the right leg drops. Good. The left arm is staying right where it is. Just moving the right side. For four. Three. You got it. Two. We're going to go back to the other side for four. Drop it. Four. 
three, two, one, other side, for four, for three, for two, good, single counts, drop, open, I want you to find that nice wide stance in the center, go a little lower, go for four, three, two, one, pull it up, all right guys, we have one more little change, right here, you're going to pivot, we're going to add on the same arm, but keep the legs where they are. The arm opens again, but nothing in your lower body moves. Bring it back. Open. Bring it back. So in this position, I want you to make sure your right knee is right over your right ankle. Have a look down. We're taking two more. Open. Bring it back. Open. Good. Now we're going to switch sides. Pivot the other way. Just the arm. Open. So again, your lower body doesn't move. Let's take four more, four, three, you got it, four, two, one, come on back, other side, we're going to go for four, four, can you drop a little lower, can you drop that back knee, two, one, switch sides, here we go, for four, three, you got it, two, one, we're going to go to single counts. Here we go. Pivot. Open the arm. Back. Center. Pivot. Arm. Good. So, can you keep this low? Even lower if you can. Pivot. Open. Good. You got four more. Four. Open. Yes. Three. Arm. Last two. In. Open. Good. Last one. Open. And lift it up. Good. All right. We're going to finish up this standing series. We're just going to finish up with our squat one more time. So bring those feet somewhere between shoulder hip width apart. Bend it down. So we're just going to incorporate a little hopscotch squat into this. So I want you to bring your hands together. Good. How it's going to go is you're going to move that one leg across. So what I want you to notice is I'm not moving my upper body, right? I'm just moving my leg. So keep those shoulders still. Feel that just in your waist. So for those of you who are feeling really energetic today, you want a little cardio, you can hop this. Hop. Hop. Yes. You've got eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four more. Three. Two. One. And release. Awesome. I hope you're warm. Open those feet nice and wide. Toes face front. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Come up and over your legs. And just hang. Shake your head yes and no. Walk your hands over to that right leg. Legs are going to stay straight. I want you to pull your chest toward that leg. And just breathe into that. <laughs> Feel the stretch in the back of that leg. Walk your hands up to that right thigh. Turn your shoulders to face front. And then go ahead and bend that right knee. So what I want you to feel is a nice stretch on the inside of that left thigh. Make sure your right knee is right over your right toes. Try not to collapse your chest here. So keep your shoulders open, chest lifted. Bring your hands back to the floor. Straighten both legs. Now walk your hands over to that left leg. Grab it, pull your chest toward it. So legs are both straight, feeling the back of that left leg open up, take an inhale, exhale, now walk your hands up to that left thigh, turn your shoulders again to face front, start bending that left knee. So again, I want you to feel the nice stretch on the inside of that right thigh, keep your chest open, shoulders release away from your ears, take a big inhale, exhale. Walk your hands back to the floor, back to center. Heel toe your feet together. Take your time rolling up. Awesome. One more stretch. If you want to grab a wall or a chair, you're welcome to. You're going to grab a hold of that right foot. We're going to take a thigh stretch. 
So bring your knees together. As you pull the heel back toward your seat, I want you to avoid also letting your hips pull forward, right? So to really get a nice stretch in that thigh, as you pull the heel back, I want you to pull your hips back as well. That's how you're gonna feel that thigh muscle really lengthen. So take a big inhale there. Exhale. Now just cross that leg over, have a seat. All right, let's switch sides. So grabbing a wall again if you need to. Grab that left foot, bring your knees together. As you pull the heel toward your seat, pull your, pull your hips back. So hold right here, take a big inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Go ahead, cross over, have a seat. Take a big inhale and exhale right here. All right, we're ready for the mat. So go ahead and grab your mat or grab your towel, whatever you're using. Grab your props if you have any that you want to incorporate today, go for it. Grab some water, I'm going to do that too. All right, so let's start laying down. Um, have your block nearby, just so you can grab it when we want to incorporate it, if you want to bring it under your head at any point. So go ahead and lay yourself down. And take a big stretch. Reach your arms back. Roll your wrists around. And just turn your head left and right. Bring your arms down by your sides. Just feel your body connect with the mat for a moment. So notice just how your body's feeling after that warm up. Notice where you might feel anything a little tired. Notice where your breath is at. Can you start making your inhale and exhale a little more controlled, a little deeper? Notice where you're breathing into. Are you breathing into your shoulders? Are you breathing into your ribs? Are you breathing into your belly? None of those is the wrong answer right now. Just notice where it is, and we'll make adjustments as we go through. So, keeping your feet down for the moment, we're just going to start warming up your upper spine. So, let's draw the belly in. Take a big inhale, and then start lifting up your head, neck, shoulders. Now, adjustments. If your lower back doesn't like this, you can bend your knees, right? Immediately, you're going to notice how your pelvis tilts and it's going to give your lower back a little more support. If your neck doesn't like this, you can always bring your hands to the base of your skull. Try not to let your hands hold up your head. That's not the job here. The job for them is just to support your neck. We still want to let the belly be doing this work and bring everything down. Let's do that again. Take a big inhale. Curl it up, head, neck, shoulders. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Keeping the belly engaged and bring it down. On this next one, we're going to practice some Pilates breathing. So take an inhale, curl up your head, neck, shoulders. So Pilates breathing, different than breathing you probably do in any other class. Definitely different than what you do in a cardio class or in yoga. So typically you're breathing into your belly. Pilates, you want to keep your belly engaged. Keep it tight. Start sending the breath to your rib cage. So if you can see your belly, have a look down. See if you can keep it engaged and see if you can start noticing your ribs move. If your head becomes uncomfortable lifted, lower it down for a second if you need to. Continue with your breathing. Come back up. Let's take two more breaths. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. Bring everything down. Good. Pull your arms up to the ceiling. Let's roll it up. Drop your upper arm into your shoulder socket. Feel where your heels are connected to the back. Try to keep them right there. Take an inhale. Start lifting up your head, neck, shoulders. Use your exhale to scoop your belly and just come up and over your legs. So one more opportunity for stretch. Grab the back of your legs and just drop your head. Let your shoulders release. Good. 
All right, lift up nice and tall. Pull the belly in and start rolling yourself back to the mat one more at a time. And then stretch it back. And let's do that again. Take a big inhale, start lifting up head and the shoulders. Scoop it, come up and over your legs. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. Those of you that want more challenge, arms go higher. They can go on an angle or they can go all the way inside your ears. Scoop your belly, now you're going to notice that added resistance you have. Now the arms are overhead, makes your abdominals work just a little harder. Maybe you want that same challenge coming up. So keep the arms higher. Maybe they continue to stay right beside your ears. Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it, and come up and over your legs. Good. One more time. All the way back and all the way up. Scoop your belly. Take your time. Feel like you're laying each bone of your spine back to the back one at a time. Take a big stretch. And then start again. Start lifting up. Scoop, 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 scoop. And then come up and over your legs. Awesome. Lift up nice and tall. So we're going to go right into some obliques right now. So reach the arms out in front of you. Pull the belly in. Roll back. Half leg. So halfway is where you feel your belly engaged, lower back protected. If you need to bend your knees a little bit at any point, please do. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. Go ahead and take a twist right. So we're just going to take a tick-tock move, meaning we're just moving the ribcage around the spine. Nothing in your lower body moves. So have a look down. Make sure your feet aren't doing something that looks like this, right? Shifting. Make sure your knees aren't bending, right? Those legs stay still. Again, we're just focusing upper body. Think of your waist and above moving. Twist. Twist. Good. Let's take four more. Four, three. Four, two. One. Now come over to your right side. You got it. You're going to keep your left arm right where it is. I want you to make a fist with that right arm. I want you to pull that right elbow back. Have a look at that right elbow. Relax that right shoulder and then punch it right out. So you're gonna pull the elbow back, punch it out, back. Now again, legs are moving. This is just rib cage moving around the spine. Now if you wanna add a little bit more to this, you're gonna give me two twists. You're gonna reach across your body, out and in, in. Double twist, twist right, twist left. Left arm stays really strong, in, in. Good, take four more, four, punch it out. Three, two, pull the elbow back, little pulses. Back, 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 you got it. Go, four, three, two, one. Release over your legs. Okay, other side, yes. I'm gonna turn this way, just so I can see you, or pretend I can see you. Reach the arms out, take an inhale. Roll back halfway. All right, guys. So we're going to go into the left side. I want you to take that twist over to the left. Relax both shoulders down. Make a fist with that left hand. Right arm stays strong. Start by pulling that left elbow back. Look back toward that left elbow. Feel that twist and punch it out. Left elbow back. Punch it out. Feel that twist. So I want you to make sure you're not just moving the arm because that will feel like a whole lot of nothing. You're going to be like, why am I doing this? I don't feel anything. <laughs> so I want you to really twist, reach, twist, reach. Feel that twist. Good. If you want, add that double twist. Punch it out. Back and across the arm. Back. Good. Double duty here. We're going to go for four, three, two. Hold the left elbow back. Pulse it. Back, back, back. You've got four more. Go for four, three, two, one. Stretch up and over your body. All right. So we're going to do a nice leg series today. So whenever I teach this series, I like to say we're cooking the leg. We're going to get the top, the bottom, and the side. 360. If you have anything you'd like to use for stretching, especially your legs, go ahead and grab it. If it's towel, strap, belt, whatever it is. We're going to go ahead and lay down. You're going to go ahead, hook that prop if you have one under your right foot, and stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. So your left leg can be slightly bent. That's going to help take a little pressure off your lower back. 
If your body allows and you want to stretch that left leg out, go for it. So pull that right leg up. You are welcome to lift your head here and pull your forehead toward your knee. And good. Bend the knee for a moment. Pull that knee in toward your shoulder. And then go ahead and stretch that leg up again. Maybe you want to hold in a flexed foot. Maybe you want to point and flex. Just articulate the foot a little bit. If you don't have a towel under there, you can even roll your ankle a bit either way. Bend the knee for a moment. Now lower your head if it's lifted. Stretch that leg back up to the ceiling. Bring your right palm to the floor. Start moving the leg across your body. So just hold here for a moment. Make sure the right side of your seat is still on the mat. So I know how good it feels, the stretch, where you actually twist and lift your seat, right? That gets a little bit more into the lower back. We're just focusing on the hip, the leg here. Bring the leg back to center, switch hands. Left palm comes to the floor, open that leg out to the side. So again, try to keep the left side of your seat on the mat. Maybe bring that foot closer to your ear. Good, bring the leg back, bend it in, and switch sides. So if you're using that prop, hook it under your left foot, extend that left leg up. You are welcome to lift your head here, that's fine. Bend the knee in, just for a moment, pull that knee in toward your shoulder. And then go ahead and stretch that leg right back up again. So you can hold in that flexed foot, you can point and flex, you can roll that ankle one way and then the other. Bend the knee for a moment. Lower your head now for the rest of this series. Stretch your leg back up. Bring your left palm to the floor and start moving the leg across your body. Keep the left side of your seat down. So really feel both hips square to your shoulders. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Bring your leg back to center. Switch hands. Now the right palm is on the floor. Open that leg out to the side. Try to keep the right side of your seat on the mat. Maybe pull the foot closer to your ear. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Bring the leg back and bend it in. Okay. So if you do like using a towel or a block under your head, this is where you can grab it if you haven't already and place it there. So we're going to go into right leg. So keep your left leg down on the mat. Pull the right knee into your chest. Your palms are going to come to the mat on either side of your hips, palms face down. So right here, I want you to go ahead and flex your foot. So we're going to start by working through the heel. Draw your belly in nice and tight. And just notice if your lower back is starting to pull away from the mat. See if you can pull your belly in and just press your lower back a little closer to the back. Maybe feel like your back hips are pressing down. Try to keep that even as the leg extends. So let's take an inhale, stretch the leg out, and then exhale, pull it in. So just moving your leg out and in. Now, if you need to go on a slightly higher angle, if it feels better on your lower back, that's fine with me. Inhale, stretch. Exhale in. We're going to take one more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale in. Now we're going to change it. So we're going to stretch it out. You're going to point your foot. Flex your foot. And then bend it in. Let's do that again. Stretch it out. Point your foot. Flex your foot. Bend it in. Two more. Pull the belly in as the leg extends. Point. Flex. Bend it in. One more time. Stretch it out. Point. Flex. Bend it in. All right. We're going to change it again. Stretch the leg out. Now the leg's going to stay straight. You're going to point your foot. Lift it up. Flex. Lower down. Point. Lift. Flex. Keeping that leg as straight as you can. Lift. Resisting the down. We're going to do one more. Point. Lift. Flex. Good. Now we're going to point. Lift that leg all the way up. Hold it right there. Now, if you're a little tight in your hip or your hamstring, and your foot isn't quite over your hip, bend the knee a little bit. I want you to focus on having that knee over your hip. Where the foot is doesn't matter, but if that leg can go straight, awesome. So right here, if you want to add a challenge, you are welcome to lift up your head, neck, and shoulders right here. You can stretch your arms out or bring your hands behind your head. 
So we're going to go into that tick-tock move, just moving back and forth. But what I want you to focus on is not letting your hips roll as well, right? So this isn't about moving the pelvis. This is about keeping the hips quiet, just moving the leg. It's small. It's maybe just a few inches in each direction. Let's take two more. Switch. Now we're going to take a circle. We're going to go across the body. We're going to go around and pause. Now you can bring your fingertips down if you need to. You can bring your head down if you need to. That's awesome. We're going to take one more. Good. Reverse. Go outside. Find that pause over your hip. Keeping the hips quiet. Keeping your shoulders quiet. Two more. Good. One more time, guys. Hold right there. I want you to flex your foot. Now I want you to imagine you're trying to kick your nose with your toes. Kick it up. Kick it up. 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 Good. Four. Three. Two. One. Point your foot. Slowly stretch it out and lower to the floor. It's getting longer, 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 longer. And release. Give it a little snap. All right, guys. So now let's flip over onto your belly. We're going to continue with the right leg. Make sure you're still doing the right leg. So come onto your belly. So options, you can cross one palm over the other and you can rest either your forehead down, your chin down, or you can just hover, right? So whatever feels best for you, perfect. Your hips are grounded. So I want you to pay really close attention to what happens with your hips here. I want you to try to keep the weight equal between both, even when we lift the leg. So your left foot is gonna stay down. Feel that left foot grounded to the mat and just float your right leg up. So try not to lift it so high that the right hip lifts, right? Keep that right hip glued down. That leg is nice and straight. We're just gonna go into some little pulses right here. Up, up, up. So feel that leg stretching nice and long. Keep your belly lifted. We're gonna go for four, three, two, hold. Now we're gonna flex the foot, bend the knee in toward your seat. Now. If you can, can you lift your thigh off the mat? Can you keep your thigh off the mat for the rest of this series? Point your foot, straighten the leg, and don't drop that thigh. Flex your foot, bend it in. Point, lengthen, flex, bend, good, point. Keep that thigh if you can, nice and high, bend, point. We're going to take two more, flex, bend, point, straighten, one more, flex, bend, Point. Now we're going to flex and bend, and we're going to hold it right here. Make sure your knee is facing down. We're going to kick the heel up. Kick it up. Kick it up. Kick it up. Even when you kick, that right hip is grounded, guys. Good. We're going to take four, three, two. Hold it. Point that foot. Straighten that leg. And release. Nice. Give it a little snap. Let's take a quick child's pose. Open your knees. Sit back into your heels. Okay, we're gonna come onto our side. We're almost cooked. You just have to put the leg in the broiler, just brown it a little on top. So, options, you can lay down on your arm, you can support your head in your hand. Um, I know some of you might wanna come up onto your forearm. That's fine. Just really watch what's happening in your lower waist. A lot of times in this position, I will see this. Notice how my shoulder popped up as my rib cage dropped. So if you're here, keep pushing the floor away. Keep yourself lifted. I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up, I'm going to sit right here. So we're going to go into a side series. That's the fetal position. Much like the name suggests, you're going to bring your knees forward. But we're not going to round the spine. So from your tailbone to the top of your head is a nice straight line. Knees come forward, lower legs parallel to the mat. So I want you to think of getting a 90 degree angle in front of your hips and a 90 degree angle behind your knees. So right here, you can rest that other hand right in the mat. We're gonna start with a parallel leg lift. So all that means is as the leg lifts, it's gonna stay parallel to the other leg in the floor. So I want you to avoid letting the foot come higher than the knee or the knee come higher than the foot, right? So it's not really a terribly big move. Good, we're gonna take four, three, two. Now hold it right there. So set up your knee so it's about in line with your hip, right? Heel is still in line with your knee. We're gonna take some little circles right there. So I want you to imagine there's a wall right in front of your knee and you're just drawing little circles right on that wall. 
Good. Let's take four more. Three, two, reverse it. So make sure you're not circling back there, right? This is not about my foot circling. This is about the leg circling within the hip. So the leg right now is one solid piece. Let's take four more. Three, two, hold. Drop your top knee to your bottom knee and lift your foot up as high as you can. So now we're going into a deep internal rotation. I want you to flex that foot. So right here, I want you to notice how small this is going to be. I'm going to lift my knee off the bottom knee and then bring it back. Lift. So this isn't a terribly big kick. I want you to focus more on the lift in your knee and the internal rotation. So I want you to keep exaggerating that, exaggerating that internal rotation. Keep pushing the heel toward the ceiling. Keep rotating that leg as much as you can. Up. Up. Good. Let's take four more. Three. Two. Good. Now we're going to change it. We're going to hop over an invisible ball and tap the top heel to the bottom heel. And then hop back over that ball, knee to knee. Heel to heel. Knee to knee. Good. Heel to heel. Knee to knee. That ball is getting bigger. Exaggerate this. Make this as big as you can. We're going to go for four. Four, three. Good. Four, two. Last one. All right, guys. Now go ahead and bring your heels together. We're going to go into our clamshell. Heels stay together. Close and open. Close and open. So right here. This is where I like to grab my hip just to make sure that the pelvis doesn't start doing this work, which is so much easier, right? Because the muscles are getting tired. Very specific set, right? You are feeling it right now. I hope you are. I am. Good. Let's take two more. Now go ahead. Keep the knees together for a moment. Bring those heels up, both of them. The heels stay touching. The bottom knee stays down. Right? Now this just gives you just a little bit more range of motion, but I want you to make sure that top hip still is not moving. What you're going to feel is the lower leg, inner thigh, glutes of that lower leg kick in. Keep those heels squeezing. Good. Let's go for four, three, two. Now hold that knee open. Kick it out. Tap the heels. Kick it out. Tap the heels. Go for four. Tap. Three. Tap. Two. One. Bring it down. Whew. All right. I think that cooked it. I think we're done. <laughs> All right, guys. Come onto your back. Let's take a figure four stretch. So important that you're doing the right leg. So make sure you are crossing your right leg over your left. And then pull that left leg toward you. Feel the stretch in that right hip. And take a few breaths right here. You can use your right hand or your right elbow to press that knee away. Take another big inhale, exhale. Good, untwist. Okay, it's time to cook the other side. So let's stretch that right leg out. Bring your palms to the mat. If you want to go ahead and grab, go ahead and grab that block under your head, go for it. Pull the left knee in. Flex that left foot, and just for a moment, feel what might have happened in your lower back. You might have noticed, you know, you might have noticed the tilt. Your hips pull forward, and your lower back lifts. So see if you can start using your exhale to just pull the hips back to the mat. Feel the belly engage. Now this is the position we want to stay in, even as the leg extends. So take an inhale, kick the heel up. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, back. Two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, back. Good. Now we're going to add on. Stretch it out. Point the foot. Flex the foot. Bend it in. Inhale, stretch. Point. Flex. Two more. Keeping that belly engaged. Point. Flex. Bring it in. One more time. Out. Point. Flex. Good. Adding on. Stretch it out. We're going to point the foot. We're going to lift. Flex. Lower. Now keep that leg straight. Point. Lift. Flex. Control the down. Two more. Point. Lift. Flex. Control it. One more time. Point. Lift. Flex. Lower. Now we're going to go ahead. Lift that leg all the way up. Take a second right here. Again, if your foot isn't over your hip, 
I'd rather you not have your leg on an angle. Just bend your knee so your knee is over your hip, just like this. If that leg can be straight, great. If you want to start lifting your head here, go for it. Now we're going to go into that tip top. So this is small, a couple inches each way. Doesn't have to be big. So I want you to focus on keeping your hips still, moving the leg within that hip socket, keeping the shoulders still, especially if your head is lifted. Good, we're going to take two more. Now we're going to start taking that circle across the body, down around and pause. Now don't forget, you can bring your fingertips to the mat. You can lower your head. All of these are great options. Good, we're going to reverse, go the other way, outside, down around and up. Outside, good, take two more. Outside, down, around, and up. One more time. Hold right there, flex that foot. I want you to kick your nose with your toes. Keep it up. Up, 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 you got it. Four, three, two, one, point the foot, and slowly let that leg stretch longer as it lowers, 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 and release. Good, shake those legs out. Okay, guys. Time to cook the back side. So I'm going to flip over and face this way. One palm over the other. Forehead or chin resting on your hands. Or you can float your head above your hands. Up to you. Keep that right foot down. Start hovering that left leg. Right there. All right. So little pulses right here. Keeping that right hip grounded. Up. Let's take four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Now, if you can, thigh off the mat. Keep that thigh lifted. Flex your foot. Bend the knee, especially here. Lift that thigh. Keep that left hip glued down. Point the foot. Straighten. Flex. Bend. Point. Straighten. Two more. Flex. Bend. Point. Straighten. Last time. Flex. Bend. Point. Straighten. Now we're going to flex. Bend. Hold. Kick it up. Kick it up. Kick it up. Good. Up. Four more. Four. Three, two, hold it, point that foot, straighten that leg, you got it, and release. All right, take a quick child, take a quick child's pose, nice wide knees, sit it back. Okay, onto our other side. So we're going to come back into that fetal position. Set up your lower arm wherever you feel comfortable. Pull those knees forward. So try to get the knees right in front of your hips. So think of a right angle in front of your hips and a right angle behind your knees. Top hand, just press that hand in the mat. So parallel leg lift. You're lifting and lowering. Lift. So the knee and the foot are on the same horizon line as the floor. Let's take four more. Four, three. Four, two. Now we're going to come back and hold the knee right in line with the hip. Imagine there's a wall in front of your knee, and you're making little circles right there. Good. We're going to go for four, three, two, reverse it. Take it around. Yes. Good. Beautiful, guys. For four, three, two, one. Now go ahead and drop that top knee to the bottom knee. Kick that heel up and flex it. So taking that deep internal rotation, really touch those knees together. Let that heel go higher. And then little bitty lifts up, up. This doesn't have to be big to be effective. So I love this series because it's sneaky. I like sneaky. <laughs> Good. Let's take four more. Three, two. Good. Now go ahead. Touch your top heel to your bottom heel. Make sure you touch. And then come back and touch your top knee to your body. So it's really easy to get kind of sloppy here and sort of touch, get close to the heel or kind of touch your ankle. I want you to be precise. Knee to knee. Heel to heel. And imagine there's a ball on your lower leg. you got to jump over it. Don't touch it. Heel to heel. Good. We're going to take four more. Heel to heel. Four, three. Heel to heel. Two more. Two. Heel to heel. One more time. Hold those heels together, clamshell, close and open. So this isn't very big, because I want you to focus on not letting your top hip roll back, right? If you notice your whole body moving, quiet down, make it smaller. Grab that top hip if you need to. I like doing that, it keeps me honest. 
Take four more. Three, two, one. Good. Keep the bottom knee down. Lift both heels. Squeeze those heels together. Same move. Open. So you have a little bit more range of motion. You're going to feel that lower leg kick in. Good. Four, three, two. Hold it right here. Kick it out. Tap. Kick it out. Tap. Go for four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Nice. All right, guys. Come on to your back. Let's cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Grab the back of that right thigh, draw it into you, and take some breath right here. Big inhale, exhale. You can use your left hand or your left elbow if you want to press that knee away. One more big inhale, exhale. All right. Okay, guys, I bet you never thought you'd be so happy to hear we're going back to core. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to do a little series here. It's called a suicide series. But you know what? That's not a really good representative name. So I don't often like saying that. So we're going to do three moves in a row. We're going to do three versions. So first version, we're going to use the arms to support. So we're going to go ahead. Grab a hold of that right leg. You can keep your head down for this whole thing. So if you have your towel or block under your head, keep it there the whole time. If you want to lift your head, come on up. Shoulders relax. Go ahead, stretch that left leg out. Quick note, higher your leg is going to be easier on your lower back. Lower, more challenging, but it works for your body. So always think outside arm is going to go lower on the leg. Keep your elbows wide. So right here, we're going to switch to start eight times. We're going to switch for eight, seven, six. Keep those inner thighs nice and tight together. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now go ahead. Grab the back of that right leg. Stretch it up to the ceiling. Don't grab it too high that you lose your neck between your shoulders. Keep the shoulders relaxed. We're going to do the same thing with straight legs. Here we go. We're going to switch. Eight, seven, six. Five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Hold right there. Bend both knees in. Grab your shins and touch your heels together. Good. We're going to take a double leg stretch. So we're going to take an inhale. Stretch the legs out. Bring the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale. Bring it in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. And bring it down. All right, guys, we've got two more sets. So for this set, if you want to make it more challenging, we're going to just leave out the arms. You're going to keep your hands behind your head. And we're going to go into that same series. You are still welcome to keep your head down or lift it up to you. So come back up. You can go ahead, grab onto your right leg again, or bring your hands behind your head. Stretch that left leg out. Good. We're going to go into eight counts. Here we go. We're going to switch for eight, seven, six. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Belly in. Three, two, hold that right leg or whatever leg is bent. Stretch it up. We're going to go into that scissor. Here we go. Switch, switch, switch. Good. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead, bend your knees. Pull the knees in. Touch your heels together. Right here, we're going to add those arms if you want. We're going to stretch legs up. This time, circle. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Maybe the legs go lower. Stretch. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. And bring it down. All right, guys. Last set. We're going to add a twist. So for this one, you can choose to twist just for the first exercise and not for the last two. You can twist for the first two and not the last one. You can twist for one of them, anyone. It's up to you. Incorporate the twist when you can. Leave it out when you need to. So right here, everybody, you're going to set up your hands in any variation of this to your temples, across your chest, whatever feels best for your shoulders. We're going to go ahead and bring those legs to tabletop. Go ahead, stretch out that left leg. We're going to start with that twist over to the right. Relax both shoulders. Make sure the left side of your butt is on the mat. 
We're going to switch eight times. Here we go. We're going to switch for eight, seven, six. Keep this controlled. Four, three, two, hold. If you can, straighten that right leg. We're going to do the same thing. Switch for eight, seven, six, five. You got it. Four, three, two, hold. Bring both knees in. Bring your body back to center. Touch those heels together. Here we go. We're going to inhale. Stretch those legs out. Take this right. Bring it in. Stretch those legs out. Twist left. Bring it in. Stretch those legs out. Twist right. Bring it in. Last one. Stretch those legs out. Twist. Bring it in. And lower. You got it, guys. If you have a block or towel, anything under your head, just remove it so we can take a bridge. Press your feet down and go ahead and lift your hips up. All right. Feel your knees tracking over your toes. Feel the lift from your hips rather than your rib cage. And bring the seat down. Go ahead, press your hips up again. And bring it down. Now, if any of my yogis, if you have a full wheel in your practice and you want to go into it, great. Otherwise, on this one, you can press up and you can actually walk your shoulders underneath you, interlace your fingers together, and give that rib cage. Now let the ribs expand. And bring those arms apart. Lower your seat and bring the shins in. Bring your head up. Touch your forehead to your knees or pretend you can. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. I always like finishing up with a little strength series. After all, this is called Sunday Strength Session. So we're going to finish up with a plank series today. So um, if you prefer to do planks on your forearm today, great, perfect. If you want to go into a full straight arm plank, perfect. Whatever you're comfortable with, if you don't want to do plank at all, the beauty is I can't see you and I won't know. <laughs> but I hope you'll stay with me. We just got three minutes, that's it. So set up your plank in whichever version you feel comfortable with. So either one elbow below each shoulder, one hand below each shoulder. Go ahead and stretch one leg back, stretch the other leg back. Find your plank. <clears throat> On this first one, we're going to keep it nice and easy. We're just going to hold. So I want you to feel your heels <clears throat> pressing back toward the wall behind you. Feel as if your kneecaps are lifting away from the floor. Feel your thighs engaged. Now start feeling your two front hip bones as if they're drawing in toward your center. Feel what that does to your belly. And just now imagine you're pushing the floor away. So the, the part of your spine between your shoulder blades, rather than letting it sink, let it lift. We're going to hold for four more counts. For three, for two, one. Bring one knee down and the other. Take a quick seat back. You got two more rounds. You are welcome to just hold in your plank as long as you can. Come back to a child's pose when you need to. Or add on. Here we go. So we're going to come back. We're going to stretch one leg back. We're going to stretch the other leg back. Beautiful, guys. So now, those of you in a straight arm, I want you to open your feet a little wider. We're going to do a little shoulder tap. So we're going to reach the right hand to the left shoulder. Tap it. Tap. Tap. So you're trying to keep your hips as quiet as you can. Tap. Tap. Good. We're going to go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees down gently. Sit it back. You're almost there. Last one. Last one. Okay, guys. Come on back. You're either just going to hold in your plank. Awesome. Or you're going to add on this last challenge. One leg back. Other leg back. Those of you on straight arms, open your feet a little wider if you're going into this last challenge. We're going to do a little high-low plank. So you're going to come down into your right forearm. Left forearm. Come back onto your right hand, left hand, alternate, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, good, left, 
Good, we've got four more. Here we go. Four. Right. Right. Four, three. Left. Good. For three, two. <laughs> Last one. Down. Down. I want you to hold right here. Wherever you're at. If you're still with me in your plank, hold it. For eight. Seven. Six. Belly in. Push the floor away. Four. Three. Two. Knees down. Sit back. Good, guys. Stay in your child's pose. Walk your hands over to the left side. Feel that right arm stretching long. Feel the stretch all the way down your arm to the right side of your waist. And push your seat back into your right heel. Take a big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Walk your hands back to center. Over to the right side. Stretch out your left arm. Feel that stretch all the way down your arm to the left side of your waist and push the weight back into your left heel. Take a big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Walk your hands back to your feet. And push yourself up onto your feet, however you can get there. And just take a second to hang over your legs. So I want you to notice how your spine feels. Hopefully, hopefully it feels a little different than when we started today. Just shake your head yes and no. You may grab opposite elbows and just take a little sway. Let your knees be soft so you can articulate your lower back. Relax your arms down and start rolling up nice and slow. Take an inhale and exhale. One more time. Take a big inhale, reach to the ceiling. Exhale, release. Thank you so much, guys. I needed that. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Um, I hope you have a great day. It is finally sunny in New York today. It's still cold, but. So I hope it's a great day wherever you are. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to leave the, um, the stream on for a little bit so you can leave some comments today. But I know as soon as it stops, you can't leave a comment. So you're welcome to just say hi. Um, anyway, have a great day. Thanks. Get on your day. See you soon. See you next time. Next Sunday. Bye.